What's up everyone and welcome back to the seventh tutorial in the series. In this video we're going to be discussing for loops. So what I have here is a list like we're familiar with. It's just in the brackets and each string is inside of the um, single quotes. And so what a for loop does is it basically goes through every single item within the list. So we could do something like for w in words print w len w close that. So basically what it's doing is it's going to say for let's make this say item. So basically it's saying for each item in the list words do something. So what it's going to do here is it's going to print the item and then it's going to print the length of the item. So it should be three letters, three letters, four letters, three letters. And so we run that and we see it shows cat, three letters, dog, three letters, frog, four letters, four letters, pog, three letters. And so that's how a for loop works, but we can add in what we learned from last class with an if statement. So basically what I've done here is I've added in a conditional. So it's if the length of the item is greater than three, then it's going to print the item and the length. So then we do something like that and it only prints out frog because that's the only one longer than three letters. Another thing we might want to do is we might want to work within the list and I'm not going to get into it in massive detail right now because we're going to cover that later but basically what we need to do is we take a slice from the list in order to make a copy of it while we're working on it because if we're trying to work on the list while we're iterating through it then it screws things up. So we're going to do something similar except for this time we're going to do the insert function And so basically what's going to happen is if the length of the item is greater than three, then it's going to insert another copy within the words list right here at the zeroth position. And then I'll show a print of that. So you can see that it added frog again in the first position. That's going to be it for our seventh tutorial. In the next video we're going to be discussing the range function.